guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can export paths from Adobe Photoshop into Cinema 4D. Uh, this may work for 3D Max as well, uh, but you know, same will, will apply. If you take a look here, you've got the C and the D and that's what we're going to be importing and it goes into and it can look something like this. Uh, I'll just be showing you just how to kind of create your sort of customized font, you know, just to create it so it kind of intertwines and etc and so it gives a kind of better look so what we're going to do is we're going to go to file new and we're going to go to 500 by 500 and first of all I'm going to change the background color to black just going to do that and go fill it in there so just so you can see it a bit better now I'm going to change the top color to white so you can kind of see the text I'm going to type in C now C is obviously stands for chrome and I'm going to do a delay to a different layer just going to go to edit free transform to make it a little bit bigger maybe not that big okay then hit control J which is basically just duplica duplicating the layer and then I'm going to type in D like so and I'm going to do what we did before and I'm going to have it the same way but you notice that the D has like a bit of a gap in it there and I don't want that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that up first of all and in the basics you're going to add a square white, white rectangle and rather and drag it on like so. Now you just move it, you know, line it up. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of a bit off center. Uh, that's looking better. And I'm just going to merge that with the thing. If I'm going to rasterize them both first and then merge them. So that is D. Double click to rename and just call it D. So let's go to fit right click and go to actual pixels. And then gonna line them both. Maybe just move the C down a bit and the D up, and that's how we're gonna have it. That's what I'm gonna have the C and the D. But if you go back, you see I've got a little gap in the D. Uh, to do this, you just go on the D layer. Make sure it's rasterized. But under rasterized layer, otherwise you won't be able to do it. Uh, it basically makes it a full layer, not a text layer. And it's gonna go to the rectangular marquee tool, and I'm gonna make it a bit bigger than that effect. Start to draw out a square in like the shape that you're gonna be cutting out and just click delete. Now that's maybe a bit too much, but if you look here, that it, the points are like like bigger. I can't explain them, I'm just jumbling my words. If you see here, there's quite a big gap between the C and the D. Whereas if you go into Cinema 40 and once you export it, you notice that the gap kind of it kind of fills up more. That's because you had like the extrude nerves and you had the caps and that. So kind of leave kind of quite a bit of leeway. It might not look right, but you know, just trial and error. Yeah, control out ZZ. And I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller than that, not too much. But I did feel that's a bit extreme, and just delete that, like so. Uh, and in fact, I think that's too much as well. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with my guns, and I'm gonna go for the first one. Just a bit, just so I can like keep in mind. And that is it. So we've got our text kind of like intertwining with each other and like so and we're just going to merge these two layers by right clicking go to merge layers and make the hide the background layer by ticking on the little eye icon bit on screen go to the quick one tool click the C hold shift and click the D so you've got these selected go to the paths tab and go to this little set this little button down here it's called make work platform from selection like so and then go to file export and paths to Illustrator. So I'll read it as Illustrator Paths. I'm just going to call it um, CD Tut. I already named one CD, you know, just to test it out before. So you, just go, you can either go to File Open or File Merge if you've already got a project. But I'm just going to go to File Open, go down, it'll call CD Tut. Okay, uh, mouse is lagging a bit. And as you see, we've got the CD text there. So what I want to do is just want to add extrude nerves. So if you quickly just drag that on, you notice that nothing happens. And now what you need to do is you need to go to the CD tut, drag out the paths, like so, and delete the CD tut section. And add path two to an extrude nerves, make another extrude nerves and add the path one to that. So they're both both got the extrude nerves separately. But now I'm just gonna change the sentence, I'm just gonna add up to like a hundred or so. One Hundred didn't have number lock on. Well, what happened there? Ah, oh, I typed and retired. I did have it on. His computer just lagging. One hundred, <clears throat> and the same rule applies for the top one. 
100. I'm going to add a cap, so I'm going to go to fillet cap, uh, change it up so it's kind of smoother, so like 10 or 11. And it's going to do the same for the, for the opposing extruded nerves, like so. And there you have it, there you've got your basic text, you know, you can ex that's how you export, that's how you make them kind of intros, sort of. Like so, and you know, just kind of create a scene with some lights and ambient occlusion and whatnot. But no, that's how to extract into Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.